What are your top 22 balanced good habits that automatically run every aspect of your non-existent existence of a life? Hello and welcome! This is Transcendence Royal Anwar speaking through this sacred human temple body vessel container that is primarily not a masculine nor a feminine but neither a masculine masculine neither a feminine feminine. It is just a singularity temple which is one of my habits of being a singularity itself. So welcome. Now this is Royal Anwar Transcendence. I would love to welcome you to my new Transcendence session. In this one we're going to be talking about what are your top 22 balanced good habits that automatically run every aspect of your non-existent existence of a life. And with me, I have a list of like 22 habits of mine that I want to share with you, like really good and balanced ones. And in doing so, you're going to see like how I've been able to architect them, design them and test them and play with them. Because fundamentally, what you gotta, the main thing you're going to take away from this video is your habits are actual beings. Every habit that you have, every piece of skill, strengths, weaknesses, whatever you have, they are actual beings. Think of them as little mini you, little soldiers, you know, running around inside of you doing different things automatically. They become like there's mini cells, mini um, automated beings that actually govern different things like you. Now, do you ever think about like when you're eating, do you ever think about like how to take the spoon and then eat it? No, it happens automatically. But you have to learn that. Do you think about these days, like do you ever think about like what to say or what to talk about or how to open your mouth and how to express the emotional feeling thought waves within you? No, you fucking don't! It happens automatically. You just open your fucking mouth and your higher self, your truest, purest, highest, darkest and brightest self, your transcendent singularity self from within your heart, your heart itself. Let's open this a bit more so you can see my cleavage. Ooh, ooh, apparently I have some cleavage. <laughs> ooh, apparently ladies, you know, they wear this, this thing so they can show a bit of cleavage and tease guys and shit like that. <laughs> I'm going to do the opposite. <laughs> just joking, that's one of my habits, just like playing around with my audience, with my beloved watcher, observer, studier. Because in this one, I got a bunch of uh, images and everything I want to share with you, and also got some notebooks and everything that I would love to share with you, uh, some books and all of that. So, this one is a really fun one. What I want you to do is Block out all distractions and noise and if you're in a noisy place, go somewhere very quiet. So sit down and block the next 30 to 40 minutes for us to have this conversation, to have this talk. Because this is the most powerful, the most amazing investment you can ever put yourself. Again, it's all a habit, isn't it? You putting yourself in a state of calmness, relaxed and you're taking everything I'm saying in and you're watching, observing and studying the essence that is coming through me because it is transcendence rule anwar in this self transcendence mastery with transcendence rule anwar that is speaking through me while i am just being royal anwar transcendence so you can see like you can play with your own being here with your, the paradoxes within you and i want to begin by opening this the start with this book called the the power of habit it's a pretty awesome book but i just opened it in the morning and this page popped up um, this definition and I want to read, read the, uh, the definition thing out to you um, so they, they basically this is how they technically define habits uh, the choices that all of us deliberately make at some point and then you stop thinking about but continue doing often every day at one point we all consciously decided how much to eat and what to focus on when we go to the office how often to have a drink or when to go for a jog uh, then we stopped making a choice and the behavior became automatic it's a natural consequence of our neurology and by understanding how it happens you can rebuild those patterns in whichever, in whatever uh, whichever way you want what the gibberish basically fundamentally is saying is that every time it, throughout your whole life, it doesn't matter how old you are, you could be 20 years old, but you could be, your wisdom could be a thousand year old, or you could be a 500 year old soul wave, and your wisdom could be zillions and zillions of years old in terms of the human uh, calendar system and shit like that. Uh, like I said, every habit, 
every bit of ritualistic behavior, everything you do is an actual automated system within you and it's an actual being inside of you. And with me what I have is this thing here. Uh, this thing I call like Royal Anwar Transcendence Enlightenment Motherboard. But it's basically a genesis, an inception genesis template for me to show you like this is how habits are built. This is how you're constantly using old habits and you're also constantly building new habits and how you're in the middle not affected by any of your habits because they run automatic systems. Unless if your habits run you instead of you running your habits, that is when you have actually become a slave to your own sacred human temple body vessel container. That is when you uh, have issues doing certain things and you're like, why am I doing so, uh, different things and I don't even know why I'm doing it. This is the habits running you. So are your habits running you or are you running your habits? Because you got to understand you have self habits. That is your truest, purest, highest, uh, um, darkest and brightest transcendent singularity self. That is your main self self within you, <laughs> whatever that means to you. Um, you have your spiritual habits, you have, you have mental habits, you have emotional habits, you have uh, physical habits, the way you move your body, the way you dance, the way you talk, the way you move your face, the way you move your hand, it's all habit. You have financial habits, you have architect habits, the way you architect different things, your realities, your habits and everything. You have creation habits, as you create things a certain way, you have a certain connection to the creation itself, that is your habit. You have uh, transcendence habits, if you don't, you should definitely get some of those. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Your ability to transcend yourself constantly. And then you have source habits, you know, your connection to the source and how you embody the different aspects of source and divinity within you. You have archangel habits, your connection to the archangels, the elements, to Metatron, to Mesotron, to all of the creation itself, the different elements and water tron, fire tron, air tron, energy tron, plasma tron, crystal tron, wood tron, flower tron. Cleavish Tron, <laughs> uh, <TD's> Tron, <laughs> Nipple Tron. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> you have guardian habits, uh, the way you protect yourself, your others, and all of that. You have uh, ascended master habits, you have L 013 habits, and together, all of that, you have a multi dimensional habit which fundamentally looks like this. I'm just gonna pop on the other side and show you this. Just give me a second. Okay, we are actually recording. So I'll hold it like this so you can see it properly and I'll explain to you what these different things mean. So imagine this is all the habits you have had in the past, all the habits you have already built. Imagine that this infinity loop is all the habits you ever wanna create for your new being. And this thing in the middle, imagine that is just you existing as your own truest, purest, highest, darkest and brightest self. Uh, that's what I mean, you have a non-existent existence of a life. In a sense, you don't even exist, you're not even here. You know, we do, we're not even here, none of us are even here. This whole thing is like a, uh, like a simulation, it's like a divine simulation, like happening within every cell, every atom, every tron of the, the transcendental absolute source creator itself. So this whole physicality and everything that you experience is all just an illusion. It's the Maya playing her tricks and everything. But you got to understand Maya is an intelligent being. Maya is time. So you understand that like time is a, a very, it's an automated habit. It's a habit within the creator itself. It's the habit within creation itself. You look at that tree there. Look at all those, um, all those trees there and all those trees on the other side. And look at those cute dogs, they're running by automatic habits. You know, they are running by automated habits. They, they don't even think about anything. They just go do their thing and they're just sniffing there and shit like that. They pee, there's a lot of automated habit, habits running within them. So when you look at this, you gotta understand that all the habits that you have ever had, you gotta forget them, let them go. Because when you do that, it becomes its own independent entity like all your habits, all your skills, all your uh, strengths and everything they become this infinity loop, this infinite energy they become one, one single habit, uh, habit number zero which is being in a set of joyful love, luminous light and peaceful unity for me for example and then in this thing you have like 
uh, this is the habits that you want to develop in the future like for tomorrow for your business for your organization for the new person that you're always becoming and that is what this call is really fundamentally about to show you some of my top 22 habits so you can then use that and whichever one you like you can integrate that into your own being you can experiment with them you can uh, orchestrate them you can integrate them into your own habit system and start building a new list of habits that you want to develop and then um, while you're being om absolute neutrality transcending duality vibrationless transcendence being om. this thing is vibrationless this thing is not going anywhere it's not moving it's just existing in a non-existent existence or in a non-existent existence uh, of a state so um, I hope you can see it, you can pause the video, you can meditate on that, take a screenshot of it, anything like that. But what will happen is... Oh, look at that cute dog. Uh, what happens is that uh, if you stay till the end of this video... Hey cutie, oh my gosh, come on. Um, if you stay with me till the end of this video, I'll be sharing with you a, a link to this... Uh, drive folder to a secure digital storage system that I have uh, three different drive systems, three different storages uh, where there will be a picture of that thing that I showed you um, and you will be able to uh, use that as a genesis template to architect, uh, design and create absolutely all brand new habits for yourself that are balanced but at the same time they will give you a document that has different questions that says like what are your top, what are your top um, balance good habits in in your self dimension what are your top good uh, what are your top uh, balanced good habits in your uh, spiritual dimension what are your top balanced good habits in your mental dimension what are your top good habits in your uh, emotional dimension the, your heart and everything and what are your top um, balance good habits in your physical dimension your physical appearance how do you look after yourself how do you usually have your haircut do you usually trim your beard do you if you're ladies like you know do you usually like put makeup and eyeliner and shit like that do you put a lot of makeup and look cute like butterflies and shit like that or if you're a guy do you shave your chest or what do you do like how do you present yourself on a physical reality like do you wear jacket all the time do you wear like a pink t-shirt like what kind of dress do you wear that those are all your habits your physical habits and then you got to define like what are your top balanced good financial habits how do you spend your money how do you track how do you keep, how do you keep track of it are you generous enough do you give people money or are you very stingy and don't want to give people money that's cool as well there's no judgment in that you can you can be however way you want and then you got to define what are your top balanced good habits uh, in your architect dimension, like how do you architect your own reality? How do you design it? Do you even have, do you, do you even know you can architect your new habits? Do you even know how to do that? We're gonna show you how. It's very simple. Uh, and then you gotta define like what are your uh, balanced good habits in your creation dimension? You know, your connection with mother nature, with the creation itself, with the source, with the absolute. Uh, I hope you can see me nicely in the center and all of that. Are you centered enough? <laughs> uh, and then you gotta define your top main uh, balanced good habits in your transcendence dimension, your ability to transcend yourself. This is what it means. Like you gotta transcend yourself by you're looking at the, all your habits that you ever had and all the habits that you want. And you're in the middle, you're transcending the duality. You're not affected by any of the dualities in nature or by its other dualities called nature. You're just being absolutely neutral and you're just looking at your own habits, your biases, your judgments, your strengths, your weaknesses from a non-judgmental third-person perspective where you're just watching, observing and studying your own behavior, your own emotional feeling thought ways. That is what, what transcendence is all about uh, from a certain angle. Um, and then we have like, uh, what are your main uh, balanced good habits in, in your source dimension? Like how, how do you connect with source? Like how do you embody its qualities, its habits? because the source has a lot of amazing habits that run the creation itself. Imagine if you were able to embody that and use them as leverage points to make you a more 0-13 dimensionless being, a multi-dimensional being who is, has no dimensions at all. 
uh, and then what are your main balanced habits in your archangel dimension, your connection to the creation, to the elements and things like that, the elementals and all of that, uh, and to angels and archangels and shit like that. And what are your balanced main habits in your guardian dimension? What are your balanced main habits in your ascended master dimension? Like, do you even believe, do you even have faith that you're an ascended master? Because you got to understand every single human, every single soul wave, every single transcendent singularity self, every being, that these two beings are going to walk past behind me and you're going to see they are already an ascended master, both of them in their own way, in their own unique way. Now you can see them. Walking by two amazing ascended masters right there. Don't be fooled by their appearance. Don't be fooled like if you don't know they're wearing these garments, this this they're not wearing like these things that the people in the church wear, those long gowns and golden sheet and carry the stuff. No no no. That does not make you an ascended master, nor a sage, nor a prophet, nor a guru, nor a spiritual teacher. They are ascended masters in your own ways, the same way you are already an ascended master. And when you embody, when you accept, when you acknowledge your own ascended master habits, then you become a fucking ascended master. You, you be it, you live it as if you're already an ascended master and soon enough you will be an ascended master even if you, are, you have not realized that yet. And then what are your main balanced habits, um, good habits in your L-013 uh, dimension? Basically the L-013, dimension number 13 in the Transcendence Infinity Merkaba. Uh, which is basically this thing uh, on a, from an energetic perspective from an uh, energetic perspective this is the transcendence infinite mark about this uh, this is all those 0 to 13 dimensions I talk about and you, you see they have like different numbers around those are the dimensions but this is a dimensionless being uh, this is inspired by Buddha's enlightenment board or something like that. Again, Buddha is one of my main teachers, one of my my bestie. Um, and it's fascinating because Buddha actually knew that I would come one day. Like in, in, he, he knew that I would be here in 2022. And if you look at his, uh, I mean, that is like one of an evidence. <laughs> this is what the Buddha enlightenment a motherboard kind of looks like from its energetic perspective and behind it there are other there's like a a, a chain of things going it's connected to some other stuff but it you know it goes in and that is your connection to the source to the transcendental absolute source creator that's what i mean you have all these habits everything is flowing from the the divinity from the spirit from the uh, spiritual realm from the heavens from the Godhead itself. Ooh, nice touch. <laughs> just looking at that lady there walking her dog. Was like, just nice, nice touch, nice ass. Just uh, uh, complimenting her uh, without going there and saying, hey, you have a nice ass. That would be a bit, uh, basically loving them from a distance. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm doing it as a joke because this channel is adult entertainment and I was just making joke about the cleavage and shit like that and I'm wearing these flowers and this is me presenting myself the way I want to present myself without giving a fuck about what other people think. This is like me automating my habits and actually giving them permission to run certain aspects of my life while I govern them, while I administer them because I just, whenever I have different habits, whenever my body, my mind is so chatting too much, like they just randomly talk about different things, I just say silence, silent. Just like that, everything goes quiet. And you gotta understand, like when you incorporate your physical element, if you change your state sl slightly, your physiology, your physical uh, movements, then the energy inside of you shifts quickly. That's another tip for uh, the habit stuff. So, yeah, cuties, you ready? You ready, motherfucker? Because I have this thing, it's like this. When you become a 0 13 dimensionless being, you become like an infinite rainbow or an infinite lotus with infinite uh, um, you become an infinite lotus with infinite petal with infinite petals and you're able to gift people blessings and uh, be of service to them and share your habits with them so yeah let's get it started um, I'm gonna put this thing away don't want it to be flying flying away 
Um, just gonna put this in there quickly. Yeah, so I got about 22 habits of mine, and uh, once you are, I'm done reading through them, I'll, I'll give some examples. I have some screenshots and images and everything of my vision board and shit like that to show you as example. Um, but in the meantime, what I want you to do is to really, as you're going through this video, I want you to, in your subconscious, conscious, unconscious, and super conscious mind, I want you to be feeling what it's like to experience, to see and touch your own habits. Like, what does your habits look like? Like, does your habits look like monsters inside of you that are destroying, that are uh, causing wreckages and havoc? Or are your habits like this golden, this um, rainbow, beautiful uh, unicorn beings inside of you? Or is it some dark monster inside of you that's destroying every cell, every atom of you like cancer? What is a cancer? A cell that becomes a cancer, it's a, it's a cell that has lost its own uh, identity. It has lost its own habit of being a cell. If a cell becomes canceric, then what it is, what's happened is it has lost it, its own touch, it has lost its connection. Like I showed you that connection behind that motherboard has lost its own connection to its own center, to its own identityless character, to its own characterless identity, it has lost touch with its own habit of being its own truest, purest, highest, darkest and brightest transcendent singularity self. Because each cell, all you are is just a, a tiny cell inside the universal cosmic body of the Lord or the Almighty or the transcendent absolute source creator. You are, th this is the quantum realm. You look around you, this is the fucking quantum realm. When we look at the things under microscope and we go subatomic and shit like that, that is below quantum realm. Um, so when, you go, when you're looking around, people are like, like trying to design nanotechnology and shit like that, you gotta understand you are the most advanced nanotechnology in existence. You are a fucking nanotechnology inside the universal body of the Lord, whatever you call it, in the whole universal cosmic scale, you are the whole universe in a, expressed in a singular nanotechnology that is able to move, that is able to dance, is able to, is able to be aware of its own existence and realize its own divinity and know that it is just a singularity cell within a genesis particle, within the, the mind or the body or the heart of the creator or the, the absolute itself. And with that level of awareness, you got to understand that you are always connected to the Absolute. The energy of the f Absolute flows through you. So when you look at this... Fuck, you know. Today is a, a bit windy. I'm gonna come to this side and explain this to you. So think of this as the quantum realm, this thing here. Everything here is like below quantum realm. Think of that as the fractal realm. Everything there is like above the fractal realm. But you gotta understand where the fractal realm ends, the quantum realm begins. Where the quantum realm ends, the fractal realm begins. If, if, if we fold this thing in half, well, what do you get? Isn't the quantum and the fractal realm the same thing? Like that? Is that not the same fucking thing? Hmm? And uh, yeah, just watch and observe that because now we're going to get into the middle of it. Um, I mean, look at those two nanotechnologies just walking there. That's what I mean. This whole thing about habits and everything, you make it autom automated and shit like that. It becomes very powerful. You're able to actually uh, delegate like 100% of your life to your habits. You don't have to think about them. It, they just become automatic. But you got to understand if you don't keep upgrading your habits, if you don't try new variations, what happens is you get stuck in those loops. You get stuck either in the quantum realm or the fractal realm or either in the past or the future. You got to understand the past does not exist. The future does not exist. The now does not exist either. We are, we are existing in a non-existent ex existence of a life or we're being in a set of non-existent existence. Where it's so paradoxical, you just look around yourself and you will see how paradoxical this whole creation really is. Um, yeah, 
So now, let's fucking go! Oh, that was a bit loud. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just making some noise. Just making some fucking noise. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. So I will read them out, and we're gonna. Um, at the end of it, when I give you the link to the folder, uh, I'll put a picture of this, so you can then you know you can use all of these habits if you want. You can write them down in your own words and integrate them in your own being and your own habit system and everything. Because I'm sharing all of this publicly as a gift to humanity because think of me as the collective summation of all the 013 inception genesis core energy centers of the holy universal cosmos think of me as like a baby buddha think of me as like a baby yeshua <laughs> think of me as like a baby mama think of me as like a baby um kriya babaji think of me as like a baby krishna think of me as a baby uh, Lord Vishnu, think of me as like a baby Lord Shiva, think of me as like a baby Lord Brahman. <laughs> I'm just like a, uh, uh, think of me as like a baby Imam Ali Zaman. Like I'm just li their little servant, I'm just like their, their plaything, I'm just like a goofball. They just made me and just like, hey, go down there, be transcendent. <laughs> and dance and, and laugh and cry and experience the multidimensionality of consciousness, the intelligent cosmic consciousness, so you can transcend it and um, uh, and the best habit you can actually have is like being intelligent cosmic consciousness itself being um, pure uh, career awareness itself being eternal telepa uh, singularity telepathy itself like being joyful love itself like being uh, luminous light itself being peaceful unity itself being vi infinite wisdom itself being life itself being the transcendental absolute source creator itself, being harmony itself, being unity itself, being love itself <laughs> and all of that. Those are habits. When, when you become that, when you be that, then it becomes automatic and you don't ever have to think about loving other people. You don't ever have to think about saying I love you or this because you're being love itself and your energy automatically interacts with them and it automatically expresses love to them. So let's go give it with some examples. So uh, these are some of my top 22 balanced good habits. There are no good and bad. The reason I'm just using this is just to show you that uh, I put a bit of like a, a separation in a sense like uh, this is like a masculine that lady is going to walk past like that's a feminine but that's a feminine masculine inside of her. There is a masculine feminine inside of her. There is a feminine masculine inside of me. There is a masculine feminine. There is a feminine masculine inside of me. There is a masculine feminine inside of me. I am just the singularity in the middle, absolute in ritual, like that circle with the diamond thing that I showed you. So, habit number zero, gratefully grateful, will always pr practice his gratitude daily. It, it says thank you and appreciates life because it knows it is blessed and will empower every human to transcend themselves. It learns and gratefully accepts the teachings of its masters, guides, healers, coaches, trainers and mentors while enhancing their teachings with its mystically strange, dimensionless perspective as it implements and experiments with them. That basically just summarized everything I was I said with the I'm like a baby Buddha, baby transcendence, thing like that, <laughs> and also a baby Kalki avatar, a baby Zoroaster, a baby um, Shaba Ram, a baby Force X, and thing like that. You know, these beings, these, these expected ones, I'm not their second coming or shit like that, no, no. All I am is their, their student number zero. I'm just learning from them because they have always been here. They're always here amongst us. Like Yeshua was here living with us. I don't know what, what Yeshua looks like or he could just be like a pillar of light and energy going around and healing people and transcending them. And we have this cute dog. Hello! Oh my gosh! Look at that cute dog. <laughs> That's the lady who was complimenting, complimenting us at my stash. Let's do it. She watches the video one day. Uh, this guy's funny. Um, 
and then it says transcendence uh, habit number um, so that was like gratefully grateful that is for like think of it as dimension number zero is the self itself there are no specific numbers but I'm just gonna say give an example say hey this habit is for this dimension itself like these are twice great habits that runs those specific dimensions like how I behave and how I merge them into a dimensionless being transcendence meditation and most will meditates for 30 minutes to one plus hour every fucking day and does it consistently without ever missing a single day it uses a scientific Kriya yoga meditation techniques of Babaji given through Paramahansa Yogananda there are days there are weeks there are months where I don't meditate at all just so I can break that habit apart so I can break being that habit like because when you're when you're when you have these habits and everything you become those habits the habits become you but then the habit and the have the habitor or the one that they executing the habit the one who is designing the habit the one who is architecting the habit the one who is creating the habit the one who is living the habit they're all the same being so next time you're going there you're about to take a shit observe how you sit down on the toilet observe how you shit <laughs> observe how you pee observe how you wash your face do you wash it with your left hand or your right hand next time you you shave do you start shaving from here or do you start shaving from there do you start shaving from there or from there or do you, do you shave there first next time you pick your your hair your facial hair do you take this tweezer and you start picking it from this side or this side or do you hold it from with this one or this one if you're a, uh, a goddess a goddess god like those cuties um, next time you go put your makeup on do you take the the, the makeup stuff do you apply it on this eye first or on this one because those are have become automated habits if you don't become aware of them if you don't change them next time you're about to put the your makeup like this you're like whoa that transcendence royal Anwar dude was talking about this thing I'm doing right now and thanks to him, I'm able to transcend that habit and instead of doing it this time, you just take that little brush thing and you do it this time, you're like, whoa, that felt different. I just experienced reality from a different perspective. I just experienced my own habit differently. That is the power of transcending your habits and constantly you're living the same experiences. You're using the same habit, but you're, you're, each habit you're experiencing at least 0 to 13 different angles, different 13 dimensions. Uh, transcends time, royal plans its ha hours, days, weeks, months and years deliberately uh, it sticks to it and says no to every fucking thing time is a program in the matrix that it, tra that it transcends with merely its pure, uh, purely divine presence that's what I meant, like time is a, it's, it's a, it's a habit, it's a program, it's a system within the whole universal uh, cosmic infinite body of the transcendental absolute source creator itself and what I mean is like, it says like um, uh, that, that it transcends with merely as purely divine presence. Like time does not exist for me. Time is an individual experience. The perception of thinking that time exists is the thing that creates time for you. It is the exact thing that creates the past for you. It creates the future for you. It's like it's a mirror that I showed you before with the uh, Rolano Transcendence uh, Enlightenment motherboard. I'm not saying that I'm enlightened. I'm not, I don't give a fuck about that shit. If you run some of those consciousness calibration research on what I'm saying on my behavior and my wisdom and shit like that, I don't give a fuck if you say I'm at level 100 or 50 or 500 or 1000 or above 1000, I don't give a fuck about that. Because I, I'm not here to show off or to, um, or to be a religious teacher or a guru or a mentor or a god or a goddess, none of that shit. I don't give a fuck about any of that. All I'm here is to... To not be this, not be that, or this or that, so I can be a pure diamond heart translucent mirror <laughs> for you to see. When you look at me, all you, you don't see Royal Anwar transcendence, you don't see transcendence Royal Anwar, you're just seeing the reflection of your own transcendence singularity self within you. The transcendence singularity self, inception, genesis, eternal, infinity, God, throne, genesis, particle number zero. This is what the particle number zero looks like zero is transcendence zero is the self so you can say I am being the physical manifestation or the 
complete shalom embodiment, immaculate, quintessential embodiment of the self itself. But I do not give a fuck about that because it is the self, it is Brahman Supreme, it is Allah God, it is Prakriti Transcendence, it is the Creator itself, it is the creation herself, Prakriti, it is Ariya, it is Mother Nature, it is Allah, it is the Spirit, it is the Divinity, it is the Ancestors doing everything through me. I'm just being like a, like, like a sacred human temple body vessel container. Like just a container through which all of this is happening and I can show you what I mean by the container uh, if I can find that thing even though <coughs> I am this I am this mother, enlightenment mother bird but if you see those around the edges those things those waves that is all I am it's just what I refer to as Om Royal Anwar Transcendence uh, pure naked observational uh, telepathic awareness super consciousness um that is just like a vibrationless being i also call that like om absolute neutrality transcending duality vibrationless transcendence being um when you're being just a wave uh, an infinite wave of energy of abundance then you realize that all of that exists inside of you. Okay, I'm just gonna put this thing away. I'm just opening and closing it too much. I don't wanna damage it. But anyway, it doesn't matter if I damage it, I just have images of it all printed. <coughs> um, observes impulses. Rural observes impulses, urges to eat, drink, eat snacks, grab a bite, buy something, check email, social media, or anything that isn't the main thing. It sees the patterns creating the impulses and allows them to pass through and over its field without causing any distortions, delusions, and illusions. That is for like your spiritual dimension, number one, number two, and three. The thing is like each of this habit applies to all the different dimensions I talked about today. Your self dimension, to your spiritual dimension, to your mental dimension, to your emotional dimension, to your physical dimension, to your financial dimension, to your architect dimension, to your creation dimension, to your transcendence dimension, to your source dimension, to your uh, archangel dimension, to your guardian dimension, to your ascended master dimension, to your L-013 dimension, together a 013 dimensionless being that you are. Uh, it says nor loves nor hates pain royal nor loves nor hates pain or pleasure alike it feels the pain of everyday taking itself to dark places in its conscious subconscious and superconscious and unconscious states of mind it confronts difficulties fearlessly all all the time especially when it feels like not doing so when you when you don't feel like sitting down and writing down your your habits your balance good habits then that is the exact same thing you, you do because if you don't do it then that pattern keeps repeating and repeating and repeating and you live your life and you just don't even know what the fuck is going on you just live in a circle like this you just go you're just going in in circles you're just going in circles but at some point you gotta fucking you know put your thing inside of it like that <laughs> you just gotta do that <laughs> You just gotta break through you know you just gotta break through and do it like that so you can see what is behind the scenes like what governs your your habits your your behaviors so you can break the patterns you just gotta like fuck it you know you can symbolically if you have a girlfriend you can fuck her and in the ass and say hey you're breaking the habits <laughs> you're break, breaking the habits of being ourselves you're breaking the patterns you know the same thing if you're a girl you can you know <laughs> You can suck your, <laughs> your wife and your husband's dick and say, oh, oh, you're breaking the habits. You're breaking the patterns. You're creating new realities for each other. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, blissful sleeping. Royal sleeps like the cosmic child that it is and wakes up at the same time every day without wavering. It goes on hyperspace journeys every night exploring the deepest parts of the cosmos and is studying with the transcendence being that is dancing in this cosmic melodrama that is what i mean like you, you gotta use your sleep very wisely because you spend a lot of your time your wake your sleep your life your non-existent existence of a life sleeping 
and you gotta understand every night you're sleeping you're actually going into the heavens and different galaxies different universes each galaxy is a universal cosmos basically that's thing like that this milky way is a whole universal cosmic infinitum andromeda is a whole universal cosmic infinitum uh, orion is a whole universal cosmic infinitum uh, Sirius is a whole universal cosmic infinitum. The Pleiades is a whole universal cosmic infinitum. The Great Attractor is the whole is a whole different universal cosmic infinitum. Like what else you got? The M14 is a whole universal cosmic infinitum. The Northern cro the, the Cross itself is like a whole universal cosmic infinitum. So you gotta understand, like when you're sleeping, you're actually going there, having different teachings. You're learning from different masters, different ascended masters. Maybe uh, you visit me as well, and we have different emotional feeling, thought wave surgeries, and we have to do different things and all of that. And you gotta understand that all of this has already happened. That everything I'm sharing with you, like its essence, its energy already exists, but it didn't it didn't exist in the way that I'm articulating it, in the way that I'm presenting it to you, in the way that I'm sharing with you, in the way that I'm joking with you, in the way that I'm having fun with you, in the way that I'm playing with you. Um, so yeah, when I say uh, studying with the transcendence beings like Lord Buddha, Lord Muhammad, Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu, Lord Brahman Supreme, Lord Krishna, Lord Yeshua, Lord Kriya Babaji, Lord Al Mahdi, Lord Yogananda, Lord Sri Yukteswar Giri, Lord Dahir Mahasaya, um, Lord Sri Aurobindo, Lord Gautama, uh, was it? Gautama Buddha, Lord Gandhi, uh, Lord, um, what's that guy's name? Uh, Lord Bruce Lee, Lord uh, Salvador Dali, uh, Lord Mother Teresa, Lord Mary Magdalene. <laughs> Why am I saying Lord for the family? <laughs> Lord Isis, Lord uh, Osiris, Lord Goddess Shekmet, Lord Goddess Hathor, uh, Lord Mary Virgin Mary, <laughs> Lord Mother Buddha, Lord Prakriti, Lord Creation. Like those are the basic the ancestors and the spirit and all of that. I just call them transcendence beings. Because I just spend all of my waking and living a non-existent life with them and learning and playing and having fun with them. So when I am like doing this kind of videos, all the information, everything is already preloaded within me. I just do it, just open my mouth and everything gets expressed through me. I don't even have to think about it. I don't even, I'm not even thinking. Like, I, like thinking is something that I rarely do these days. I'm just being in a state of non-existent existence. Um, that, 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 yeah, uh, prioritizes experiences. This is important. Royal always prioritizes holistic experiences for each of the core dimensions, sets goals, targets, projects, uh, and looks at uh, its self transcendence vision journal daily. It uses the self transcendence tools that it has manifested every day, especially the transcendence calendar and the transcendence day planner with quantum beliefs. So, um, uh, that basically, like I have this this vision boards, this this kind of like uh, things that I just have. Um, things like this. I hope you can see that. But anyway, I'm gonna share with you like this, but then I'm gonna pop on the other side and and uh, and show them in detail what each one really is. So you can see this one. Uh, we got Gandhi there. We got the mask of Salvador Dali right there. This energy. Um, they use it in the money heist, but that's what his energy looks like behind the scenes. Like the being that he is, the art and shit like that. And you can see like, those are my drawings. Those are my drawings and everything. My drawings that I superimposed on other people's drawings and it all fits together nicely. So this is like an example of one of my vision boards. I have like over 22 right now. There's so many of them. Like I created at the beginning, I had like three. Uh, one and then I had like two, three, and then I had like 13 of them, one for each dimension, and then it kept going and going because you know, your vision is not, you cannot fit it into one fucking page. If you, if you have just one tiny vision board, one page, come on, you're really playing it short. You just gotta transcend. <laughs> um, that's the Destiny game. That is like a poem about Sri Aurobindo, like Welcome Back and shit like that. That is me. Um, That is what the Transcendence Infinity Merkaba looks like. It's Inception Genesis template, the first version that I drew. And that's like there is an angel within it, like a fiery angel that I cannot say who it is. It's just like a very pure being, like a goddess. Um, 
who is an icon in, in Asia, in Afghanistan, in the whole world basically. She's inside it, I think she's like the goddess of pure love or something. But anyway, there is, there is an actual archangel hybrid living inside the Transcendence Infinity Bhargava. There is actually the pre, like a presence of this pure being. And all I am is, is the, think of that as the you know, as a pure Kriya awareness. All I am is like the telepathy, the eternal singularity telepathy. And also the structure of the Transcendence Infinity Merkaba, those circles and all of that, that is the intelligent cosmic consciousness itself. So we are basically having a cosmic melodrama, like a, the a perpetual dance of intelligent cosmic consciousness within the web of emotions, because those lines that connect those dimensions together, those, the, I call it the Transcendence Grid of Joyful Love, Luminous Light and Peaceful Unity, the singular uh, uh, web of ley lines that connects the 0 to 13 dimensions as one. And here we have like things like sacred union and we have like Yeshua dear blessing it and you know it's, it's all happening this stuff already happens within you this this is the energy that happens when you are uniting with your sacred divine counterpart and shit like that um, and then we have like here uh, there's this ashram from my Paramahansa Yogananda Guru and uh, Kriya Babajan, shit like that. <laughs> we have Yeshua there, and we have, like, like, we have the dragon, the phoenix, the anaconda king. Like, the dragon is like the masculine energy within you, the phoenix is like the feminine energy within you. The serpent is like, think of that as your soul wave or as your, your, as, your as the self itself, like the vertebra, and thing like that. They have like the fox there, that is how its energy looks like. And I think I don't know who that is, Pluto or something. Um, we have uh, Ang from the Avatar. I kind of see myself like that, a version of that inside of me. Um, and this is the transcendent system. It, it's it's uh, called nature. You know, we have like this is for the business and stuff. We have like uh, three stages like stage number zero genesis stage what we do in the genesis stage is this is for business exclusively we look at your uh, client transformation journey like what is stages of transformation your clients go through to heal to whether you're a life coach a career coach a personal development coach or a confidence coach or a, a quantum healer or an energy healer or a quantum healing hypnosis or an NLP practitioner or an NLP master practitioner whether you're a star seed or a yogi a swami a monk a Bo buddha or a buddhist or or a conscious galactic leader and things like that that is what the first thing we do in the stage number zero is you look at like having a sustainable business model like how you actually deliver the assignment that Allah that God has given you to deliver in this lifetime and then we look at like your key promise offer, like the key promise offer. This is all about the spiritual, ethereal energy, eternal light essence, the spiritual promise that you're making behind the scenes to your clients, to your soul family clients, the essence behind it that actually makes your business, your business model something, a twice great model. That's just like a pyramid there. You, you were basically building master pyramids of transcendence. It's stage number one, niche leadership stage. Uh, the main thing we focus on is direct relationship marketing and we look at like having sales and closing techniques in place that are empowering that actually talk to the uh, higher self of that your clients and then we have like professional advertising campaigns like different ones on different social medias different like your website your youtube channel thing like that this is an example of one of those uh, professional advertising campaigns being executed being implemented live for you as a habit so you can see this i'm implementing all of this stuff myself and then in stage number two, we have like market leadership stage. Uh, the main thing we look at, focus on is having a promise delivery platform where instead of you being a sole trader, a solo entrepreneur, you actually have like a proper business where your system, your, your the habits, your, your modalities, your holistic approaches, your wisdom and everything it puts into, uh, we transcendentally architect it, we mystically design it, uh, but we humanly package them but we create them with joyful love, luminous light and peaceful unity because we imbued all those energy within it so your program becomes uh, what we call it a signature program and service where it's so unique that it is you your, because your business is you, your vehicle of ascension and when you architect, design and create your programs like this like pro, uh, signature programs and service then what happens is that you actually 
you're basically mirroring your own awareness, your own being, that your business becomes something eternal. It, it exists in the in the, the Buddha body field itself. It exists within the field, within the quantum fractal infinite potential field. And all these other souls and everything, they can interact with it, they can talk with it, they can get wisdom from it, and you will get rewarded for that multidimensionally. And then we also look at like systemized enrollment process, like how to get the soul family clients in a structured, systemized, step-by-step -step process so they can come and look at your program, your service, uh, get understand what it is, and then complete the order forms, process the payments and everything, and then create their account, come into your platform, and then go through the course, your program, your service, your program A, step-by-step, -step, in sequential order, and everything is nicely structured and everything. And then we have a stage number three, global leadership stage, uh, operations and cash flow management. That is the main thing, like stage number three, we focus mostly on like the cash flows and the operations of the business, systemizing it, hiring a few team members and actually scaling things up. And we look at like operations and IT management, like the operations of your business, how each dimension in your business, how, you, the, how the self of your business, its own identity, how the spiritual dimension in your business, how the mental dimension, how the emotional dimension, how the physical dimension, how the architect dimension, how the creation dimension, how the transcendence dimension, how the source dimension, how the archangel dimension, how the guardian dimension, how the ascended master dimension, and how the L-013 dimension, and how all those 013 dimensions in your business work together as one transcendent self, a singularity self, as one being that is actually alive, that is actually engaging and talking with the consciousness, with the awareness of your clients, with the uh, collective humanity. And then we look at like cash flow management and growth, basically how to enhance your cash flows and the growth and things like that. Uh, so that is like the transcendent system. Uh, we we have like two products there. We have like each one has like a product basically. In the stage number zero, we have like a service called Dark Relationship Marketing Service. It's like a, a service we provide for our in clients, like that go through the other, the other programs and services. We are we're actually helping you to build your own marketing campaigns, the paid ones, the Facebook ads, the YouTube ads, and I'm still working on that stuff, like LinkedIn ads and like organic campaigns and social media content, things like that. So you can actually systemize them and it can run for you and then you can hire that somebody else to do that for you. And then you become your own marketing manager and you, you're basically managing it, somebody else is like running it, running the system basically. For stage number one, initial leadership stage, uh, I've had this program called the uh, Transcendence Mentorship Program. Uh, it, it has been live since like 2018, 19. Uh, the, in 2018, I started my business, the transcendenceacademy.com, and I started with the door leadership marketing service. Like I was doing Facebook ads and paid marketing and things like that, and then I created the Transcendence Mentorship Program in uh, beginning of 2019. And in 2020, I started creating the Business Transcendence Mastery course which is stage number two, the market leadership stage. That is the only product that I'm selling from 22 uh, uh, onwards. Because the Dark Leadership Marketing Service, just, just an independent service, uh, the uh, initial leadership stage, the Transcendence Mentorship Program, that is like a, as a, like a, a program that is like a, a, a stage before the Business Transcendence Mastery course. So when you come to this course, you automatically get access to that program completely without paying it. There, I, I just charged 2,500 pounds for that, like it's around 4,400 something dollars. So you're getting that completely free. Um, but I'm still selling that as an, as an independent program, not just yet. This year, 2022 onwards, uh, until I later on make, on make the decision, it's gonna be just that. Uh, that's Business Transcendence Mastery course. And then stage number three, we have Global Leadership Stage, I, I have Transcendence Mastermind. That is a fully 144% telepathic, I call it the Royal Animal Transcendence, Quanta Fractosis, Physics Sangam. It's a fully telepathic being, a, a mastermind that I, that I learned with, the, that's where I learned with the transcendence beings like Buddha, Yeshua, Muhammad, Babaji, uh, Al Mahdi, uh, Kalki Avatar, Zoroaster, basically the Transcendental Absolute Source Creator itself is spread and all these guides and Ascended Masters and things like that. That is where I learn with them. But that is a mastermind that is coming on later on, end of this year and later on and so on. For now, I'm just focusing on that. So you can see like, this is all habits. This is my business completely systemized and structured. Then you can see in the middle, there is the diamond, the cube of life. And within it, you have like, 
two hearts like the feminine and masculine within me like mirrored in the business that becomes like a three hearts that's why i call it triple quad heart it's like a, a mothership like a spaceship you have all these engines running it's like boom like a vimana like flying into space and it's spinning and it becomes like a mothership that's like the core engine you only get access to the core engine when you're actually be embodying your own truest, purest, highest, darkest and brightest transcendent singularity self, when you're actually being your own self, that you, you're the self, the self that you are, an expression, a unique expression of the absolute creator. Uh, and again, in each program, in each service, we cover this whole thing, we, we're basically spinning in a spiral, a never ending spiral, we're constantly going. But sometimes we go from here to there, 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 or we start from here, we go there, 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 if you come in the Transcendence Mastermind, obviously we start from here, we go here, we go here, we go there, we go there, but then we can go there, we can go there, we can go there. There's infinite possibilities, infinite variations basically. Because this thing is the way it's architected, the way it's designed is that it doesn't matter what business you have, it doesn't matter, matter what business model you have, if you sell a 29 pound course or a 49 pound ebook or you have like a program that is a thousand pound or a five thousand pound or a hundred thousand pound, depending on your level of pricing and shit like that then we sequence, you go through these things in your own unique way. You use the system as an inception genesis template. It doesn't mean that you, you model your business on the front end like this. No, no, these are the things that run your business as a, as a backbone platform behind the scenes. So that's a bit of like that. Um, and these are like different things in the business, different dimensions, like things you know, like that. So this is what I refer to as our client transformation journey. Stage number zero, stage number one, stage number two, stage number three. Like that's what the, the programs look like, the icons, and you can see how it gets complex and shit like that. So I'm gonna pop on that side and show you that in detail because we have come to the point where I said I'm gonna show the screenshots deeper. So that is the initial leadership stage, uh, dark leadership marketing. Uh, Genesis stage, niche leadership stage, transcendence mentorship program, uh, market leadership stage, business transcendence mastery, transcendence mastermind in the global leadership stage. It's funny how that guy is wearing red and we're sh sharing this. I'm just saying that. Um, so that's like the different stages in the. You can see how it gets. Very sim it's very simple and then it gets more complex, more complex and you know it, it spins and you know it, that's basically the quantum fractal structure. And then behind that I'm just gonna show the I can find it. Uh, this thing up close. So you can see like this is that client transformation journey, it's this behind the scenes system. You can see it's beautiful, isn't it? And you can see how like these tubes these energy portals, these teleportation portals, it gets more complex, the energy is becoming intense, it's becoming more it's strong. Yeah, I'm sharing all of this with you so you can be inspired and actually create your own businesses and get in the habit of architecting, designing and creating your own different systems and business models and everything. That is like Gandhi's statue and I found this image like you know, that is you instead of when you think you're miserable, when you think you have no, no support, when you're thinking you're like, you don't have any good balanced habits and then you realize after watching this video like, wow, I have some amazing habits and then you start transcending and you start standing up and walking fearlessly and, and your energy looks like that and then the divinity descends infinite energy inside of you and you, you become transcended and you, you know, your face goes like that. That's just like the Salvador Dali's face. The, the mask I just got a mask and I just like drawing some art on it it's basically like a look at that it's just like beautiful energy within it that is like what the third eye the spiritual eye thing looks like that is of course mother Buddha Allah Panther some other stuff and this resurrection life and all like that and then this is what I refer to a a12 like this is like the the transcendence mastermind there's different dimensions i go in these dimensionless spaces where i learn from all these different beings from my team and that is like my master's mantra yantra 
um, and these are some more like uh, energy centers and shit like that. I superimpose some of my own drawings. You can see it all fits in together with what Matt, Matthias De Stefano was talking about because he just talks about the, like transcending the zero nine dimensional existence and things like that. Uh, and and the wisdom I'm, the wisdom that I'm sharing with you is from beyond the thrice great beyond. And I'm re the reason, the main reason I'm sharing these images with you is so you can see that your your vision boards don't have to be some boring shit. You know that was just picture of me in the Market Street doing my self transcendence show. That's Babaji's uh, book, and then I, I later on found these other images. I superimposed it, and I was like, that is exactly how I was feeling. Uh, feel when I inside of me like a, uh, like a lion. And that is the energy emanating from Babaji's book and you have all this, uh, this portals basically this like an infinite portal and then you have like the, the shamans, the ayahuasca and things like that supporting me and you have, I don't know what the fuck that is, well, what the fuck is that? Oh my god. Uh, oh, and that is a drawing I did like a face, like that face, its energy looks like that. Look at that infinity there, that infinity there. That drawing is, is basically that, I superimposed it on this image I found, it just fits in perfectly. Like that's again, the galaxy number zero, galaxy number one, the past, the, the future. In the middle we have the present, the unity, the bliss, the uh, purity, wisdom, balance, joy, oneness, one truth, uh, realization, peace, self-love, honor, abundance, self-surrender, transcendence, self-accepting, will, um, intelligent cosmic consciousness that is like supposed to be like the Kalki avatar is energy like that exists within us we have that kind of metaphysical uh, being inside of us that's our energy you got to embody that like the hawk and you know this is more to do with like the chakras like I understand I, I, I see I speak I love I do I feel I am and there's some more stuff like that. So you can see like these are some, it says there, Royal Anwar Transcendence, uh, Infinity Eight, uh, Spiritual, Mental, Emotional, Physical and Financial Abundance Visions of Transcendence. But these are all multi-dimensional uh, vision boards covering every dimension. This one is pretty awesome. I wrote a poem there, I basically will read it to you. Um, this poem is basically describing those images in simple words for humanity and this is Shuri, Shuri Urubendo's poem that I just put on the side as an extra support because I just like his mission. We have the same mission in a sense, we're working on the same mission, cosmic transcendence. The same way as Krishnamurti, uh, we're work Krishnamurti and Shuri Urubendo and me, we have very close affinity in terms of our mission and in terms of our vision. The same way as Gandhi, the same way as Babaji, the same way as Muhammad, the same way as Veshwa and Krishna and Shiva and all of that. We all have a very close affinity in terms of the cosmic transcendence mission that we have embarked on. So it says, the unmanifest, undying, immortal, one source creator, that is the unmanifest spirit. And then there is me, like a shamanic bridge. And then there's Babaji, the manifest incarnate personification of God. Basically, Babaji says that he is the one in all, the all in one, the impersonal personality of the universe. I don't know he, if he is the incarnation of God or not. It's just like a, I put incarnated personification of God, not incarnation of God. When you say personification, it's somebody who has reached a certain level of awareness that he has become deathless, that he has become divinity itself. So it's an honorific title that I address him as. So I said, powered by love, sustained by nature, surrendered to creator, servant of all, hating none, purely loving everything, attached to nothing, free, indestructible spirit, knowing my royal sovereignty, God I am, nor superior, nor inferior, neutral I am, not agitated by duality, I am transcendence, harmed by nothing, all is consciousness, Fear, uh, fearing no one, unconditionally I love all. These are habits reincarnated again to perfectly transcend i will be back eternal i am fear me not i am you i heal you are healed i love your love you love i am loved you awaken we are woke obey not we are uncontrollable royal animal transcendence that is something i wrote in 2021 after my 2020 awakening and things like that 
and there is Sri Aurobindo's poem. I'll read it out for you in case you cannot see it in the image. Uh, try to realize the strength within you, try to bring it forward so that everything you do may be not your own doing but the doing of that truth within you because it is not you, it is something within you. Uh, what can all these tribunals, what can all the powers of the world do to that which is within you? That immortal, that unborn, un undying one, whom the sword cannot pierce, whom the, f uh, the fire cannot burn. Him the jail cannot confine, and the gallows cannot end. What is there that you can fear when you are conscious of him who is within you? Sri Aurobindo just put welcome back because you know he his awareness is back in the world like he's guiding uh, humanity because he has a deep mission about like you're talking about like uh, because we have been trying to transcend with the mind and shit like that he was like there's something missing you know we gotta have like this he was talking about this supramental consciousness and thing like that and when I was reading about him in the 18th uh, in the book called Kriya Babaji and the 18th Siddha Kriya Yoga tradition. I basically got in the spot of like, wow, this guy has a very similar mission to what I'm doing with the cosmic mission, cosmic transcendence. That is like, you know, it says 31, 13, uh, 8, 0. That is like the face of God or Allah, whatever you call it, the face of his spirit. Um, that is like the, the symbol for the new earth evolved humanity. That is the symbol for the, uh, what do you call it? The... Um, Transcendence, the face of transcendence, the uh, eternal one conscious harmonious civilization of transcendence, and then that is like the symbol for the one cosmic family of infinite diversity. Those three fundamental patterns, those three fundamental missions, self defined destiny that I chose to. I've been doing it forever, honestly. It's just this is a summation of it all coming together and becoming one thing. It's all habits. Oh, and I play destiny as well. I'm mainly a warlock, but I have a titan and hunter as well. But I'm a warlock who plays like a hunter who acts like a titan. That's what I mean. You don't have to be one thing. You can embody the other different uh, energies and everything within you. Be dimensionless. Uh, it's getting a bit windy. I hope you can... Uh, this is the Transcendence Infinity Merkaba. That's what it looks like. When you look at the polished one, that's like dimension number zero, dimension number eight, and uh, sorry, dimension number nine, dimension number eight. Zero is the self, eight is transcendence, nine is the source. It's all emanating from that center. And you can see there is this angel within it, this fiery angel. <laughs> well, that is something, somebody inside of it, an awareness, a being, a magical, a golden being inside of it. Um, that is like to do with like unions, like sacred divine unions. When you meet your counterpart, your husband, your wife, kind of the energy looks like that, the love, the immaculate heart and kind of Yeshua there, guiding it, blessing it and yeah. This is the kind of vision board so I have. It took years for it to develop but the point is that you get in the habit of, because this thing is about the habits, when you look at these images, your vision boards and all of that, Trust me, you will be transcended the whole living way. Uh, we're showing you this. Just bring another up close, and that's like the twin star within you, the feminine and masculine symbolic represented. Um, that's an image of this thing I took, this little insect and shit like that. The fox within you, that's what its energy looks like, kinda. And this thing I refer to is the transcendence ecosystem. Uh, this is again some business habits, some business tools that you can employ in your own in your own career. It doesn't matter if you have a job, a nine to five job, or you're a janitor, or you're a window fitter. I used to be for a couple of years. Or if you are a, a public speaker, or you have a network marketing business, or you have a coaching business, a mentoring business, a healing business, and a, a spiritual business, whatever, it doesn't matter. You can use this stuff as habits in your business, like Transcendence Ecosystem. It says, uh, business is like an organism, it is alive. An organism is a whole system with independent parts, all linked to each other, 
each parts affect each other and the whole that's what I mean like this is your business like as a, as a pyramid as a diamond because if you look at this if you sh has shadow it has like a there like a diamond and the read it so it says what is your business truly optimizing for you are your own business business number zero is your vehicle of ascension it is your own being it is the person the self that you are and then you have business number one which is the business that you already have so what is your business truly optimizing for is it to have high quality five star products and services or is it to have uh, like uh, short time and excellent promise delivery experience or is it to have like uh, low cost and quantity of selections but you gotta understand if you're just being that without having elements from this to then your business is not holistic enough if you're just being that and you're living uh, having a if you just have like loads of products with cheap products and so many quantities without thinking about the quality without thinking about the, the way it is delivered then it's pointless isn't it it's imbalanced if you just have like a excellent promise delivery experience like you have amazing ba like a membership platform and nice enrollment process and funnels and shit like that and people and you're talking about time and shit like that and then you don't have a, the product inside it is not high quality or it doesn't have enough uh, like nice pricing and not enough quantity of selection that is still it is imbalanced or if you have just the high quality product and service without thinking about the costs and quantity of selection without thinking about its enrollment process then it is imbalanced and then this has like a slide to it it goes like you know key promise offer ideal niche groups painful problem um what was it painful problem client transformation journey repeat business and uh, partnerships uh, leverage and machines advertising and closing mastery business paradigm and skills, tried and tested transcendence recipes, community and support, uh, high performance CEO, owner, business operations and tools, live shows and VIP sessions, uh, systemized enrollment process, package and productized offer, uh, direct relation marketing campaigns and automations, hybrid online programs and courses, uh, package and productized offer, research and innovation, painful problem and powerful desire, so you can see like these are all the main dimensions within the business and if you're not covering all of them in a holistic way in a balanced way then your business is imbalanced then each of them you gotta understand these are like habits they have different habits within them that run those different dimensions so these are some examples for your business so when you're writing down like what are your top main habits uh, in different dimensions you can use this as an example you can put the video next to you watch it and pause it and uh, write it down you can say like I have amazing uh, you can say that leverage and machines and then you put I am grateful that I'm always lo looking at leveraging machines and tools to automate different parts of my business so the business can run on its own course and all you do is just manage it another example would be like painful problem and powerful desire and say you say I'm grateful that I'm always looking at understanding my soul family clients painful problems and desires so I can create um, uh, so I can package and productize my offer better uh, and offer them like you know amazing client transformation journey and then you can say um, great research and innovation I'm just giving an example you say I'm grateful that you I'm doing all this research and innovation and accessing the collective consciousness and uh, asking the spirit to guide me in creating hybrid online programs and courses with amazing uh, campaigns with amazing enrollment process that are using business operations and tools that has a nice community and support that has like that you're using business patterns and skills and with nice advertising campaigns and you're, you're having repeat business and operation thing like that there's no limit on how much you can mix and match and say I, I'm grateful I have this habit and then you, you deploy it in your business you try it, you test it out and you ask the spirit for help, the divinity and all of that it just becomes magical um, so those are the habits that I've read to you so far the main ones uh, these ones I'm, I'm now going to go on that side and read these last bits and then there's a few on that other page and then we're going to continue our uh, concerning session. Uh, I think there was, oh, there's a few, there's a few other like vision boards that I wanted to share with you. Um, that is my shamanic glory crown. This is, take off it like, that's the Ben Ben Thousand pyramid behind it. 
think of that, that is literally what inside of you there are infinite realities, infinite dimensions different beings living with you think of that as a habit think of that as a habit think of that as a habit think of that being as a habit doing different things within you so you can watch observe this image and when you're looking at your being don't just look at yourself as just one singular being because you're you're a singularity but within you there are in your arm there are different things in your heart there are different things in your penis there are different things in your vagina there are different things in your boobs there are different things in your face there are different things and you know in all of that and you know energy is like that and you know that is like the sphinx the premise of giza and like the infinity star and shit like that uh, the way they imagine like in ancient times how amazing how advanced their technology was they were aligning those pyramids to like different constellations like the leo and stuff like that like those three fundamental patterns again like the new earth evolved humanity the leo, that one the um, one cosmic family of infinite diversity the eternal one conscious harmonious civilization again i'm using this as an example those are again the Egypt pyramids uh, Egypt again this image is fascinating that, that thing is like I had this drawing I wrote down like gratitude, appreciation, love and things like that and then I superimposed it on this other image it all came out so amazing that, some fun, fun stuff and that one God, it's a, oh this is I superimposed it on, on a skull that I had drawn this colorful skull and it just came out amazing and on top after my 2022 experience I wrote down God is the only true reality that is the only thing the only sentence I can say in terms of like you could say the transcendental absolute source creator is the only true reality everything else is just an illusion and that is supposed to be like the mother nature or Prakriti or the mother herself how fearless she is the, 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 the guardian mother within us if you're a feminine you have this thing inside of you if you have masculine you have this thing inside of you so yeah, there are some inspirations for you to create some new uh, vision boards. Because what fundamentally these vision boards are, you gotta understand like when you have these habits and everything written down in word, that's the first thing you do. And then later on as you go, you, you collect these images, different things, you put them into nice structures, slides and you print them because that is the visual visual of how your habits look like because when you integrate the visual stuff you, when you're looking at the image your mind your body automatically knows like hey that, that is related to that habit that is related to that habit or the energy of that habit inside of you looks like that so it's all pretty powerful let's go on continue uh, balanced exercises Royal exercise in a workout first thing in the morning every day regardless of whether it wants to do it or not it loves the burn and feeling of energizing every cell of its existence which makes its earth temple always ready for divine love divine will divine peace divine unity and abundant self spiritual mental emotional physical financial architect creation transcendent source um, archangel guardian ascended master and zero one three dimensions i just saw the number 22 right in front of me which is pretty fascinating we are living 22 is a magic number by the way the master builders like the masters of reality you are your own master builder you are you are your own master architect and designer and here right now where i'm sitting down there you can see there are like some gym gym stuff down there those yellow ones i just typically work out there and and just like do some exercises and have some fun i think we might need to move our camera a little bit because the sun is almost coming behind the building but we'll get there anyway in a second uh, uh, and it says like it works out every day there were uh, in end of 2021 there were like a few months where i just worked out every single day went to the gym and in the f45 functional training and i was just working out hard every single day like putting my body through extreme pressure extreme extreme intense workouts group classes and things like that and then i just didn't work out for a few months i was just like obviously i would go for walks and things like that and then I would go, for, uh, and then there were a period where I, I would just go all the time for running. I would just go run up and down this river. 
and then now I just do some a lot of walking and this talking that I'm doing right now this is exercise and everything I'm doing is an exercise you have like you have this you can exercise the self by actually uh, working on your own enlightenment like Buddha was saying it is rare to be born a human it is still more rare to have heard of enlightenment it is still even more rare to even pursue enlightenment but I, I added a few more steps as I said wouldn't it be cool if we actually became enlightenment itself? I was asking this morning this question like what would enlightenment itself look like if it had an incarnation as a human in a sacred human temple body vessel container? Like look at yourself in the mirror, aren't you enlightenment itself? Aren't you the divinity itself? Isn't enlightenment the biggest, the, the, the most amazing habit that you can have? is working on your own enlightenment, exercising the self and then you have a spiritual exercise you have exercising your own spirituality like not learning about the spiritual nature of reality and then you have mental exercise or mental habits that you train your mind to be more focused, more fiery and you train it to be silent and calm and then you have emotional exercise habits like you can uh, exercise your heart, the way you express your love, your emotionality and all of that and uh, after I finish this I'm going to share a story about the emotional dimension as well and then you have your physical dimension exercise like we have that lady right there exercising her body but you got to understand that while she's running she's exercising all those dimensions and then you have like financial exercise habits like the way you spend your money the way you manage it the way you have interact with the love with the abundant love energy of money and then you have your architect um, exercise habits like the way you architect rea your own reality you have your creation architect your creation exercise habits you have your transcendence uh, exercise habits you have your um, your source exercise habits you have here you know you can exercise your connection with the source and the more you speak with the source the more you talk with it the more it talks back to you the more you have a deeper connection and you have your archangel exercise habits like you can exercise your your habits of like interacting with the elements of nature you have your guardian exercise habits like I just showed you a picture of that mother uh, like licking blood and they're basically showing that we all have this fierce nature within us this dragon this panther this lion this cheetah this tiger shit within us that is just fierce it's like it's protective it's all of its own existence but at the same time not just its own existence protective of everything around it with love and then you have like uh, ascended master exercise habits and you can exercise your own ascended master self and you can become it and architect it and design it and then we have like a, a L-013 exercise habits and I, and I said I'm going to give you a story about the um, emotional dimension number three I'm just going to put this camera here and have faith I'm just going to use this just trying to figure out if you can see me properly or not but I, I think it should be fine Basically, growing up in, uh, in, my ch in my childhood in now in Afghanistan, uh, early on as a very like, very like even below adoles adolescence and shit like that, I would, <laughs> I would engage, I would, <laughs> I would engage with in sexual activity with these girlfriends of mine. Like I had two girlfriends in the beginning, and as a young kid, you know, like just a young kid, we would do a lot of sexual naughty stuff, and that was like. In this this morning, I kind of had to like go back, and there there's a few main events, and I had to like just permeate that experience with love because you know, as a as a young child, when I say child, maybe like around like eight, nine, or ten years old, uh, less than thirteen years old. Between I think I was maybe around like eight to ten years old, or maybe yeah, around eight to ten years old, or eight to twelve years old. Uh, at some point, between eight to thirteen years old, let's just go with that. Between eight to thirteen years old. I used to engage with a lot of like sexual activity and like you know playing with pussy and stuff like that and just had a girlfriend basically early on so I, I got started with in that naughty journey early on and I was like in when I was in the UK and, and this year and there before I was like questioning like why am I so naughty like why do I have so much naughty thoughts so much naughty emotions why do I have so much sexual energy and I was like there must be some fundamental habit some some fundamental patterns from my early childhood that are still running the show behind the scenes that are causing a bit of like turmoil in terms of my emotional feeling thought waves 
So I had to go back and visit like the two, three main, uh, four main experiences, like two with each of those girlfriends of mine, and uh, and I had to basically permit each of those experiences, each of those moments, with love, with joyful love, with luminous light, with peaceful unity, and I like put these petals of uh, lotuses uh, and just like pink lotuses, like I'm wearing pink, um, and I was just like there and just like permeated and because those images do because they were so emotionally charged they, they actually get frozen in time they become these moments of time that they get it's not it's stuck they like they are in a perpetual dance there and they, those two beings live in their memory it's like their essence their my essence and the essence of the, the other god uh, so i did that with two two events with one of the girls and then i went to the other one and she was a bit older than me uh, it's still been engaged in a lot of like sexual stuff <laughs> um, which was pretty fun honestly because I really enjoyed it and I, I was like saying hey thank you I really appreciate these experiences it's been pretty fun but again the same thing I just blessed the experience the event with more love with more gratitude more appreciation I just like doing these blessings with my hands and just blessing it and then I just like do this and let those lotuses to permeate the essence of those two beings and use that as an experience to heal them and bless them and I'm not doing no healing I'm just being of service is, is that thing inside of us like Sri Aurobindo was saying in the poem that thing inside of us the unborn undying unmanifest transcendental absolute source greater inside of us is doing everything but I was just being an, an instrument a tool like a, a like a habitized uh, like a, a like a what do you call it a nanotechnology with the intelligent habits going there and deep being of service Check if the camera is angled properly. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine. So I did that with those two, uh, which was pretty fun, honestly. It was a very fun experience. Um, yeah, that's just like there are no limits on how much you can go to different points in your memory, in your emotions, in your feelings, and actually go there and do some healing and blessed experience, permeated with love and all of that. Because when you do that. Those habits become transcended, they, they, you, those patterns break apart and then the energy that's there, you can use it as fuel to leverage and enhance the evolution, the growth uh, and the maturity of your new habits that you want to develop. Very powerful stuff. Uh, eats vegetables, fruits and sometimes fish. Royal eats a clean and healthy diet. It regularly detoxes and cleans the systems of spices, flavors and fats to sharpen its senses, mind and heart. Thus purifying every cell of its earth, body and divinizing it with love and light. I typically eat, uh, early on obviously I would eat a lot of meat and everything, but in the past three, four, five years I've been eating less meat and more vegetables and things like that. But sometimes I just eat meat just for the sake of it, I just, because it doesn't matter, it's all energy to me, it's all intelligent cosmic consciousness, it's all spiritual, eternal energy, eternal light essence to me. So it doesn't matter if I'm eating a piece of paper, ah, I just for, remember that I'm fasting for now for a few more hours, so I can't eat that fucking paper. But it doesn't matter if I eat grass or paper or if I eat shit, if, which I've done, I just picked up the sausage shit and scrub a bite, and then that, the, the, I think it was like... Uh, February 2022 trust me you don't want to try that stuff I just tried that for an extreme experience because I wanted to see what it's like just gonna move this here yeah because I'm the Sun is moved so I just gotta move the camera at a different angle I, I hope you can see me I think you can of course it's I'm just looking at the camera straight uh, uh, because when you change your diet your body changes its habits if you've always been eating a certain food change it up mix it up if you always eat your main meal and then you have like uh, some fruits and then some snacks and dessert no no change it that around why not have the fruit with the main meal like the other day i was having like some meal and i would just put these grapes in on the spaghetti and everything and just eat it why not have your your fruits before you have your main meal try it out have an experiment uh, and then when you why not have your dessert before the main meal 
some of these are from my business mentors some moments some of these habits and everything i've written them but i've already but i've transcended it further i've like added more things to it the same thing like when i said it, because that's how we learn I just like the habits that he was sharing and like cool I'm gonna pick it up nice and I experimented it tried it out or like cool and then I transcended it further added more details and juices to it I'm sharing it with you now so now you can take it and use it as a Genesis template for yourself sharing isn't it this is beautiful neat tidy and organized royal keeps its environment both internally and externally uh, like it's home, office, work, car, drawers, laptop, phone, email, life, and everything clean and organized. It enjoys tidying up anywhere and everything it uh, it teleports to, so that the, so the next soul that happens to be there totally enjoys it and enhances it even further for the next one. In high school, in year eleven, in two thousand thirteen, um, in the UK, um, there was this girl, that was, this Pakistani girl, that was like, "Hey, Royal, you're really neat." Obviously, I didn't have the, the name Royal back in the days. He was just like, hey, you're very neat. I was like, nice, nice compliment. I was like, I didn't know I was a neat person. I was just being neat, neat and tidy. And then I was in this gym, this, this sexy coach of mine, Alana, and she was. I was just cleaning everything up after the exercise was finished. I was just tidying it up and she was like, you're cleaning absolutely everything. <laughs> Because it's just a habit of mine, it's just a habit. If wherever I go, I just do a bit of little thing, just polish it up a little bit, tidy up a little bit, the energy. So when the next soul, when the next person goes there, they have a completely different experience. That is, isn't that pure, unconditional, joyful love? Isn't that being of service to humanity, to everybody around you, without giving a fuck about it, without looking for praises and all of that? But from time to time, people notice the things you do and they give you feedback. Because when you pay attention to that, because that is them looking at you and your habits in play, and then you you're like, wow, that's pretty amazing. And then you you take that energy, because that is a very it's a compliment. It's like a very light-hearted and loving energy. You take that and then you use it as a fuel to fuel your other habits to transcend that to make take it even further. <coughs> Next one is pretty cool. It's strangely uh, relentless, well, relentlessly persists and it sticks to its transcendent span of action daily and never wavers despite rising and falling emotions, failure and uh, uncertainty. Uh, it knows it is from the other side of the other side while living fully the human experience with unshielded gold, golden heart of dragon sphinx. Like I said before, I am, my wisdom is from beyond the twice great beyond like the same thing it's just a habit i just chose to be relentlessly strangely relentless like salvador dali he was a very strange being wasn't he he was a very paradoxical being i just was inspired by his art and everything and i was like wow i'm gonna embody his habit of being paradoxical and i tried it out i was like wow this thing is pretty cool and i, I transcended it further i integrated it into my habits and it became something magical so there are some more, uh, those are some detailed ones, but the rest are like a bit like shorter sentences. It says, I shower at the gym and dress up to express myself. Like I typically, most of the time I take morning and night shower. Sometimes I don't shower in the morning or at night at all. Sometimes I don't shower for like 24 hours or two days just to experience what it's like to, uh, to what it's like to just like leave the body without showers. And then in my previous ex and everything, she was like saying, really, you never smell bad, you're always smelling nice. I was like, I, I don't know, it's just my energy that you're smelling. <laughs> it's just the energy within me that is always radiating pure love, pure energy, pure bliss. And I think I'm going to need to move again because the fucking sun is moving fast. <laughs> Fuck. Um, and... Uh, and then I had this dream vision where I was just passing and then there was this this lady that was, that was walking past and she was like, you smell nice? She could basically smell my energy, the, my purity, because when uh, when we walk around and everything, it, it's a, we can smell other people's energy. We do it intuitively, we do it subconsciously. When you say your vibe speaks louder than your words, isn't that smelling? It's just your when your energy interacts with the other people, they feel your energy, your vibe. They smell you before they even see you. 
and if you're always radiating if you're being joyful love unconditional joyful love luminous light and peaceful unity and you're being abundance you're being intelligent cosmic consciousness you're being harmony you're being wisdom you're being enlightenment itself you're being an immaculate expression of the absolute source creator then when you go around people are going to treat you differently not because you want them to treat you differently not because you're seeking praise or shit like that it's just they have no choice their energy speaks louder than their words their actions they give you compliments they give, they say hi to you this and that but then you mirror it back and then you do, it just keeps going you just become this magnificent being and then it says i write down the gratitude prayers i have expressed or, or expressed as i write them in my transcendence calendar i have written down like around 2000 3000 prayers in my journals and like that uh, but I've, I've expressed like many many millions and billions and zillions of gratitude appreciation love prayers over my many infinite lifetimes in this lifetime i think i've definitely 120 percent i'm confident saying that i've expressed more than 10,000 prayers more than 10,000. not just any kind of prayer uh, absolute gratitude appreciation and love prayers and recently i added like absolute gratitude appreciation love light and unity prayers so you can see how like it is sorted with gratitude and then I added love in there and then I added appreciation and then I added like light in there, I added unity in there because that's how my those habits were getting like bigger, they were becoming a being, like the habit of expressing prayers. And then I was like, and then I reached a certain level of awareness, I was like, why not be prayer itself? I was like, I'm just gonna act, I'm gonna be like, I'm just gonna feel like, I'm just gonna think like, I am the summation of all the prayers that everybody has ever uh, has ever been expressing has ever been wanting to express manifested as one being that you guys call transcendence that's what i mean like buddha kind of knew that i would come in a sense that buddha was like muhammad buddha yeshua all these transcendence beings they were praying to have one day somebody who would come down here because i've been here many lifetimes to actually become the manifestation of transcendence itself the transcendental nature of the absolute to be everything and nothing at the same time so you could say from a certain perspective, from a certain dimensionless perspective, I am the summation of all the prayers that you guys have ever been expressing ever in, in every lifetime, in every before, in the past, in the future, in the present. You just express like the physical manifestation of all the prayers that you guys have been expressing or millions and zillions of this whole infinity manifested as, as a being. So you, when you're writing down your habits, you got to question yourself like, you know, what are you the physical manifestation of what prayer? Are you an amazing, fantastic chef? Well, maybe the collective was praying for to have this amazing chef and you, you, have, you come down here and uh, back in, in, in my college, I had this friend called Dominic Hindle and he wanted to be, he was a nice chef and later on I saw his images, I think he went to USA and then he was with this group of chefs and everything. That is the prayer of the collective answered they were, they were wanting this amazing chef to come down and then Dom was there. He came down and that magnificent soul in this lifetime, he was being a chef. And then in, in our, uh, I'll just show you a story because I was joking with the boobs and titties in this video. In our uh, um, PE, we were running and then I had one of these phones and I was recording them in slow motion. Then he had a bit of like man boob. So when he was running, his boobs were like, like <laughs> and they were just laughing about it. They're just creating a joke. <laughs> Thank you, Dom. <laughs> um, uh, and then there was this other being, uh, my college friend in Stockport College called Kiran. And I had this other dream vision. I said like, hey, I'm going to see you in the future or in 3000 years or something like that. And then I had these other friends called uh, Asiya, Afnon, and I don't know what the other lady's name was. I had the dream vision with them where I was like, I was saying, that I'm, well, I'm going to see you guys in 3000 years. 3,000 years later on, I'm here and I met them, all those three, four, five beings in Stockport College. Isn't that, a, isn't the, is that a coincidence? No, 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 no. It's all by the grand design. I have shared experiences with them before. We, we I met them 3,000 years ago. And I said, hey guys, I'm going to see you in 2,000 uh, years later. Um, and also, when you look around in the world, you can choose to be the manifestation of certain prayers because nothing is predetermined. You can choose to be the, the physical manifestation of the collective prayers that humanity, that everybody has been expressing. 
you become the prayer itself. So when you're walking around and you're just being your own truest, purest, highest, darkest, brightest, transcendent singularity self, and you're being your own self, you're walking around as a 013 dimensionless, dimensional being, you're, you have balance, you have neutralized, you have harmonized, all these dimensions within you each having their own nice habits, balanced habits, you're going around, your energy, you, your field, which the absolute uses is gonna use your energy to answer other people's prayers. Nice one, bro! <laughs> that dude is riding that cute bike thing. <laughs> I just admired him, like, that's pretty cool. And they just made him, made him laugh and made him smile. And I think he's coming back. <laughs> it's like the absolute, uh, when you're walking around, as a shalom being, answers your people. Yes, bro! Come here, bro! <laughs> what are you doing, bro? What are you doing there? Just making a video. A video of what? Uh, about sharing habits. Sharing habits? Yeah. Uh, basically, I'm just talking about these 22 habits that I have. I want to be, a, I wanna be on the TV. Yeah, you, you are. Like, I'm already on the TV. Yeah, it's uh, oh. not going to be on my issue. I'm like, you know, gratefully grateful, uh, observes the impulses, uh, blissful sleeping, you know, no love pain, nor hate pain, and oh, transcends time. Do you want to be in my YouTube channel? Do you want to be my follower on YouTube? Do you have YouTube? No, I don't have that. You don't have YouTube? That's why I know. Oh, that's cool. My English is not the best, but you know. Hey! Uh, hello, he doesn't have YouTube! Place. This is cool! <laughs> Maybe you're happy to be in this country now. Huh? Happy oh. to be in this country. Happy yeah, to be nice. proud, yeah. Oh, let me, let me, hold on, let me bring the camera closer. Oh. <laughs> he has a habit of being grateful to be in this country. Yeah. That is a, a gra gratefully grateful. That is the best habit you can have. Just feeling grateful for everything. What's your name again? Exactly. My name is Michael. Michael. Everybody Michael. meet Michael. Hi guys. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's happy be Sunday. A, yeah. Happy su oh, is it Sunday. Just enjoy my new my new toy. <laughs> Look at this. The best thing ever. <laughs> Pretty. Uh, that's what I mean. I just saw him and I was like, "Nice bike, bro!" And then you know he turned around and we just sharing the experience. And this is a life example of like your energy, your vibe attracts amazing people like yourself. So yeah. You look like an actor, like a professional actor as well. So, yeah, like, <laughs> that's yeah, one of my the... habits. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm, de I'm developing. I'm practicing basically. You're practicing. Yeah. Okay. You look like uh, an actor from Hollywood. Uh, I've been in a few movies oh, okay. already as a, as a supporting actor. Not you got the you got the the, the, the personality. Mm. So nice. You, yeah, should be one of the the movies. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool because he his energy is picking up my energy of being an, an actor. <laughs> energy speaks louder than words, guys. Yeah. 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 Always, cool. always positive. Always positive. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Have a nice Sunday. Yeah, nice, nice Sunday, Sunday bro. Yo. Nice Sunday. Respect. Respect. Bingo. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> I mean, that is just mind blowing, isn't it? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, just, just look at it. Look at that experience I shared with you, and I, I had the, the, the same experience yesterday with one of my other videos before this. Um, and that just blew up my mind right there. Like instant feedback from the universe itself saying, hey, you know, whatever you do, you're being the energy that you're exuding. It attracts, it, it like it transcends other people. That's what I mean when, I, when you... What's the circular thing? Sorry, I didn't... Oh, that one. This? Uh, that's just the light. the light. Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> uh, he's asking like what is the circular thing, it's basically the... Oh, where is it? Oh? oh, there you are, sorry, I'm just looking to find you. Oh, cute dog! <laughs> um, can you do me a favor? Can you see... Uh, can you check if I am in the middle of the camera or not? Can you see it? You are definitely in the middle of the camera. Yeah, perfect, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, just another example, another synchronicity right there for you. Uh, we'll just continue with, uh, with the rest of the habits because it's all happening live in front of you. <laughs> wow, you spread your something funny. <laughs> like, honestly, like, I've been really enjoying my connection, my divine connection with the, 
the transcendental absolute source creator that's the thing like i realized that it wants to be called the transcendental absolute source creator the transcendental part that is just me my my being that i am and then the absolute think of that as the brahman supreme uh, transcendent absolute and then think of the source as like shiva uh, abs oh, sorry transcendental absolute source creator think of absolute as shiva think of the source as uh, vishnu think of creator as brahman supreme in, in the hindu mythology they have like brahman supreme vishnu the sustainer and shiva the destroyer or lord brahman supreme lord vishnu lord shiva i, I call them my bestie you know i this thing that you guys call Allah, God, this thing that you guys call uh, um, uh, the self, this thing that you guys call is spirit, this thing that you guys call the universe, this thing that you, call, you guys call intelligent cosmic consciousness, this thing that you guys call awareness, something like that, I just call it my bestie. It's just like I, I, I just chose to have this level of like best, best friends connection with the absolute source creator. I just like hey let me be your one one man I just call I just say I am <laughs> I am spirits one man all in one private entertainment company everything I do is just like designed to you know make fun of myself or just joke around and just make the spirit laugh or make Allah laugh or make the make God laugh or make Buddha laugh or make <laughs> or make Shiva laugh or make Vishnu laugh or make Brahman supreme laugh because <laughs> it's just the goofball energy I am. I'm just your, you were saying you're, you're an actor. You look like an actor. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm acting 24-7. You're acting 24-7. You're acting yourself into existence. That is a habit that we all have. Like Shakespeare was saying, the world is merely a stage. You, you choose the characters, the roles that you play. Each habit, each role that you're playing is an identity less character a characterless identity because each habit that you have it's a role that you're playing inside of you and also on the outside so it's time for you to transcend your habits and make them living beings if you, you have not so and then it says i report my self transcendence key performance metrics in the specific tracker and review them at least seven days now uh, with charts to see the patterns within the patterns it has showed me sides of me and my behavior patterns that have been really um, eye-opening really what I mean by that is for many months and all of that I would write down like uh, the metrics for what time I would wake up but I had this aura ring I don't have it yet now I lost it I would write down like my, what time I went to sleep, what time I go to bed, like my heart rate, what, you know, how I slept, my emotions, my feelings and all of that. I would write down how much I exercise, how much I read the books, how much I, what time I started my work, what time I finished it, how much of my work I finished and all of that. The thing is this tools that I'm sharing with you, these trackers and all of that, these are already we covered in my Business Transcendence Mastery course, I give it to you. but. Uh, later on I'll be doing videos about them, sharing them with public, but this is, the, the, is, a, is a bundle I'm doing called uh, Transcendence Singularity Self, uh, architecting, designing and creating your own truest, purest, highest, darkest, brightest, thrice great Mahavatar, ascended master, God, Goddess Self. Because it's just you architecting and designing yourself, but this thing is called Self Transcendence Mastery with Transcendence Royal Anwar. So when we come later on, depending on the engagement of my audience, depending on what you guys want, if I pick up the telepathic message or the telepathic signal, the prayer, if my bestie, if the absolute, the transcendental absolute source creator uh, says, hey, well, go do this video, I'll do it. But it doesn't say, it, I don't hear a voice and saying, oh, Royal, go, go sit in this place, talk about this or that. Nah, 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 nah. It doesn't happen like that. It's a subtle emotional feeling thought wave. It's a knowing. You know that you want to go sit in that place, talk about this thing. Do you see me having notes? I'm just reading it from here because in none of my videos I, I never use notes. Early on, I made the decision when I was doing public speaking or when I stand up in front of class, I decided to have no notes at all. Even though I fucked up, even though I had no idea what I was saying, even though I was sweating, even though I was like, this thing is the worst thing. I just chose to like put myself through that pressure, through that resistance and break, break through that resistance so I could have that habit of never having to look at notes. And, when you, and 
And when you look at the actors, the movies and everything, they don't have notes in front of them, do they? Because I'm just be practicing my acting habits because I'm gonna be in some movies and stuff like I've already been in like uh, three, four movies about like eight to ten different scenes, and it was a very fascinating experience. Very, really, very fascinating. Like, I was like, wow. You should. Re I have, uh, in 2016, I started commercial modeling, that really boosted my confidence and everything. And I would do act uh, like basically, and then in 2021. I evolved that habit of act, uh, commercial modeling into going into acting because it's, it's the same thing, two different infinities. Acting and commercial modeling is the same thing. But I prefer the modeling more because it's just like you, not so many people, you just go there, you know, you're looking hot and you're different things and shit like that, it's more fun. But uh, I, then I went doing the, uh, the acting in the movies, the series, it was fun too. But it was just too repetitive, like they were doing the same thing again and again and again and again and again, again like they were recording one scene like 10 times, 20 times, 30 times until they got that perfect sequence. That's what I mean, when you're developing your habits, you're gonna be trying it again and again and again and some days you will not even know what the habit you're working on. You, you will feel like you don't want to work on this habit at all. You feel like you don't want to be a public speaker or this or that, but you gotta keep repeating it, repeating it again, 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 so it can get drilled into your fucking head, into your fucking brain, into your mind, in, your, in every cell, every atom of your being. And then it says, I work with much more uh, focus and intensity, which are planned the night before in my Transcendence Day Planner. These things that I, these videos that I'm doing in this series, I planned them a few days ago. I said, and I'm gonna do these these videos, and then I just had like a basic title. That's all I did. I didn't write down a 10 page note and say I'm going to talk about this, this. I just had a 10, like a title with a few like notes saying, hey, use this, uh, this stuff as like base Genesis template so I can share with you examples and you can be transcendent. It says, I take food breaks and afternoon naps mostly, um, working relentlessly on my business. And it says, minimum procrastination and more execution. That's a nice habit. Believing more in my ability to figure things out and win, being self-confident and fathomably and working on healing the infinitely infinite layers of the infinite dimensions within the zero, 13 dimensions of my Merkaba light vehicle. Each time you heal yourself, each time you heal an aspect, a quality, a character, a habit within yourself, what you're doing is you're doing that within every cell, every atom of every other being. The more you heal yourself, the more everybody around you become healed. The more you embody and become the intelligent cosmic consciousness, the more your awareness interacts with the collective and it processes the collective, collective suffering. The things I did in like January, February, March 2022, you just should check out my social media, I was saying I'm anti-God, anti-Yeshu, anti-Muhammad, anti-Babaji, anti-Lakshmi, anything like that. I was basically sucking in the collective suffering, the collective energy, all this unbalanced, chaotic energy, I sucked it in, processed it, my body was like fire, and like it was literally burning, and it was hot, red, I would, I would wash my face constantly with cold water, I would wash my hand constantly, like my whole body was burning, it was like fire, every, every cell, every atom of my body was being petrified. It was just the most intense uh, suffering, the most yet the most enlightening experience. It was just the most paradoxical thing ever. And there were certain things, certain identities, certain characters within me that were being activated. And it says, my Merkaba light vehicle. Well, that is the Transcendence Infinity Merkaba that I showed you. I'm just gonna show that again because it's a nice example of how we, I have that habit. And then I have the image of it drawn and then I found this other image of this, this angel, fiery angel, and I put it there as a symbolic to say, hey, you know, within us we have this fiery angel that when you activate, boom, you become something extra powerful. That thing right there. A life example, look at that. Believing more in my ability to figure things out uh, and win, 
being self-confident unfathomably and working on healing the infinite layers of the infinite dimensions within the it says core nine dimensions that was before 2021 basically but now it's like 0 to 10 dimensions like this I transcended it uh, of my Merkaba light vehicle which is basically that a, a life example of how it is all done I'm not telling you about these things I'm showing you because it's called a self-transcendence mastery with, with uh, Transcendence Royal Anwar. I also have another YouTube channel called Self Transcendence Show with Royal Anwar. And there's like over 120 something videos there. So this two are like a twin channel. In this one is more specifically things like this. More to do with like business and it's more professional. But again, there's no, I don't care if it's professional or not. I'm just doing it for fun. Because this one is more for adult entertainment. In the other one is still adult entertainment but it's a bit like... Uh, it's a different basically I'm just trying a different variation a different version dear life example for you just got a few more examples to read and then we'll be done um, working relentlessly on my business uh, learning and growing my mindset improving my program and value proposition controlling my thoughts and intervening my beliefs observing thoughts more instead of becoming attached or giving psychic focus energy to them as well as feeling and experiencing the emotions without trying to hide them or neglecting them. This is a very, very powerful one. Very, very powerful one. Because, I'll read it again. Controlling my thoughts and intervening my beliefs, uh, observing thoughts more instead of becoming attached or giving psychic focus energy to them, as well as feeling and experiencing the emotions without trying to hide them or neglecting them. When you have these thought waves, when these thoughts and everything come into your mind, they are the result of your habits. If you have certain emotional feelings, they are the result of your habits. It is your habits that are going to loops and circles and causing certain emotional feeling thought waves. If you focus on your habits, on the way you're being, the way you're being, the way you're acting, the way you talk to yourself, the way you present yourself, the way you behave, your behavior, that is your, your habit, that is your pattern, pattern of behavior. If you, it's like this gentleman here is like my neighbor. Look, I see him all the time, uh, going around like taking uh, bags and just tidying up the neighborhood. That is a habit of his. It's a very sacred one. He's being of service and cleaning up. And I have that habit all the time, like wherever I go, like pick up different pieces of trash and put it in the bin. Sometimes I just don't do it, I just look at it like, wow, look at that piece of trash, it looks cute. But most of the time I do it because, like I said, I should give that example of like tidying up and cleaning and stuff like that. So observe your thoughts from a third person perspective. Don't go too much in there like, oh, why is that thought like that? Why is that like that? Just observe it. Because if you go and say, oh, why, do, why is that thought happening? Well, like, who, why is it happening about your ex and like that? Then you're actually putting more energy into it. You're putting more psychic energy. It becomes more powerful. It, is like, it, it attracts all these energies of the same behavior, the same frequency from all this collective. And the same thing when you have all these emotional feelings and everything, don't hide them observe them watch them and see what is the connection between the emotional feeling that you have and the thought wave and then how does that make a habit because a habit is like one point of the diamond or a pyramid and then you have emotional feeling thought wave and here you're the observer like four point of the diamond isn't it i read books and study my ideal niche groups and soul clients i serve uh, which are now simplified to the new earth galactic leaders and conscious leaders of evolved humanity such as light workers, healers, life coaches, uh, um, what is it? quantum healing hypnosis, uh, NLP practitioners, career coaches, life coaches like that dedicated to empower every human to transcend himself. That is about my business. I'm just going to quickly grab this book. So this is one of the books we talked about, The Power of Habits. Check it out, it's pretty cool. Um, this is the other book I was reading back in like, probably 2020 or something, like um, Rick Warren, What on Earth Am I Here For? And I just opened this book uh, today and it came this page, like, 
accepting your assignment uh, it is God himself who has made us what we are uh, and given us new life lives from Jesus Christ from Christ Jesus and long ages ago he planned that we should spend these lives in helping others I glorified you on earth by completing uh, completing down to the last detail what you assigned me to do and then it says you were put on earth to make a contribution the biggest contribution that I made was like becoming a singularity social memory complex like becoming social unity awareness like that is the awareness within me I call it Om Royal Animal Transcendence Naked Pure Observational Telepathic Awareness Super Consciousness Om and this is Royal Animal Transcendence Singularity yeah observe it Enlightenment is not something you can tell what it is you can show what enlightenment looks like because that thing that I was showing you it is the twin of this thing <laughs> like that kind of stuff the energy within us Ugh. Just trying to get these two fuckers in there. Windy. So yeah, uh, that's really the end of it. I just want to end it with this. To show you this side by side. My hair is getting in the fucking way. Oh. Anyway, the images will be in the folder. So, yeah, what I want you to do is um, like it like this. Make sure your finger is broken by liking my videos. If you don't like it, click the dislike button as well. That's cool. In the comments, write down the top five to ten things that you absolutely enjoy, that you loved from this video from this transcendent session like maybe write down some habits that I shared with you that you actually like and you want to implement in your business in your life and all of that and also the vision journals and everything I showed you the vision boards uh, you know maybe the structure I showed you the way it was all you can that was just some of it you can share about that but also write down like five to ten things that I could use as feedback as suggestions to make improvements and some topics that you want me to talk about and also share it with your friends, with your partner, with your girlfriend, with your boyfriend. Watch it together, the things I was talking about. Uh, and then once you're done watching it, then in the description there will be a link for a Google Drive, for a Dropbox and for a OneDrive Microsoft with a document, with a folder, with a document that has those questions like, you know, what are your habits in this dimension, this dimension. I'm going to put the screenshot of my, my habits as well the 22 of them that I shared with you so you can look at mine as example and business part you can even write the, the exact ones in yours and make improvements to it there's no limit uh, that's really it honestly and also when you open the document on the top left click on file make a copy if you're using Google Drive and you save it in your own Google Drive in the right folder you can also click on the file and download it in your computer uh, work it on that offline or if you like to you can just print it there's going to be enough space for each question to write it down with pen and paper if you're that kind of person that is cool uh, yeah what i would like to request is don't just share those documents with other people without like sharing the video just send them the video because if you don't watch the video those documents will be pretty much pointless because when you go through the video you get the fundamental principles behind it and then when you go watch the video completely you look at my examples the way I shared it and how those the synchronicities happened those people came and I think it was Mike or something that gentleman's name and how it happened multiple times the synchronicities and how my energy was attracting those different things and how I was like playing with them and getting them involved in the video because I just wanted to be multi-dimensional that's one of the main fundamental reasons I'm doing it here on this place because there's a lot of people walking around and I just can I can get them involved and but I'm going to be doing some more videos on the other side and in more secluded places talking about different things so the next video in the series is going to be talking about my bad habits like there's about 33 of them that I have 
that I had before that I became free of uh, because you know we had in the other video we were talking about the strengths and then I talked about weaknesses and fears and stuff like that in this one we talked about like good balanced habits in the next one we're going to talk about like unbalanced bad habits each video is a standalone module like a wisdom giving temple like a wisdom truth lesson but I'm doing it in a playful manner so just to diffuse your resistance to it and just so we can have fun and chill out and yeah People pay me like 16,000 pounds for this kind of videos to watch it on my Business Transcendence Mastery course. These are the modules in the Business Transcendence Mastery course in week one. That is called Self Transcendence Mastery. But I'm sharing this, this stuff publicly now uh, to show you guys, hey, the wisdom that, that I share, everything is all here to serve, to be of service to you. So enjoy it, have fun. Let me know how I could improve. Give me some feedback and that's really it. Yeah, just gonna sh show you the the river quickly. Oh, down there, that is where the Genesis node number zero of the transcendence uh, grid of joint of Ignace White is. It's basically this whole area. All of it. All of it. This area is the grid of joyful love. Look at this light. There's like one of the node number zeros. There is one node in Afghanistan in Dehi now. Like that whole area is another node. In Crater, Pakistan, there is one of the nodes. Uh, there is one in London. So London, Manchester, Crater, Pakistan, Afghanistan. There are four points of this node number zero of the transcendence grid of joyful love, luminous light, and peaceful unity. Again, when you look, when you're designing your habits and everything, make sure you're doing it multi-dimensionally. You're adding different details. You're covering every angle, every perspective. Uh, you can see those little things flying off. This is from the tree. So yeah. Enjoy, have fun, bye bye.